Want to know how to create a company page on LinkedIn? If so, you are in the right place because in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step of how to set up your business page on LinkedIn. I'm Wendy and I'm all about helping coaches and course creators attract the highest quality inbound leads on LinkedIn without the need for cold selling. Now, if you're planning to use LinkedIn in your strategy this year, be sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to create your LinkedIn company page. But before I share my screen with you and walk you through the entire process, there are a few things you need to know. Number one, you need to create your personal LinkedIn profile first which means that you will not be able to set up a company page until you have registered on the platform. Number two, your profile needs to be at an intermediate or all-star level. Now, to achieve this, all you have to do is fill out as many sections as possible on your profile. Number three, if you just set up your personal profile, you will have to wait up to seven days until LinkedIn will give you the option to create a company page. And number four, you need to have at least a dozen first degree connections in your network before you will be able to create your LinkedIn company page. Now, if you don't know the difference between first, second and third degree connections on LinkedIn, be sure you check out this video next to understand what is it exactly that you need to do. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna hop on my computer and show you exactly how to set up your LinkedIn company page from the very beginning. All right, so the first thing you want to do is open up your LinkedIn profile, all right? Then you're going to navigate to the work section over here and click create a company page. Now you see we have a couple of different options presented to us. Now we have small businesses, medium to large businesses, showcase pages, which is basically when you have one company with multiple brands and then pages for educational institutions. So I'm just gonna select small businesses in this example, but it does not actually matter what you select because the steps from here on are gonna be the same for all pages. Okay, so small business, and then I'm gonna enter the name of the company. Let's say that's just my name. And as you can see, uh, it already auto-populates the LinkedIn public URL, which you can change if you want to. Then the next thing you want to enter is your website. Um, then the industry that you are part of, the company size, the company type, which for me is privately held. Then what we want to do is upload the logo for your company. So I'm going to click there and select the logo over here. And then you have the tagline. So I could say I help coaches and course creators attract bound leads on LinkedIn and I would add some emojis at the end but I'm just gonna skip that for now and then what you're saying is that you advertise you know basically that you are allowed to set this page up for yourself then we click create page and it's actually very straightforward from now because you can see your page progress at the very top and these are all the things you want to be adding now what I'm gonna start with is actually adding a cover image right so that's probably the most important thing for your company page so that it would stand out. So I'm going to click over here, click upload cover image, and I'm going to select the banner I have already created. So let me show you. Okay, that's the banner and I'm clicking save and it is done. Now, one thing I have done for you is that I have set a template that you can use to set up your own banner. So over here, this is the template I'm going to share with you in the description below. And basically, this is the area where you do not want to have any text, but it, because it's not going to be visible on mobile. So very important not to put anything there. And then over here, you can basically change the colors to be whatever they want. Obviously, ideally your brand colors, and then you just change the text to I help your ideal client and the ideal outcome you offer them. And then you always also want to have a call to action so that again, your audience knows what to ask you about. All right. Now, one last note in terms of colors, if you don't have brand colors yet, an amazing resource is this site called Coolers, which has amazing, amazing inspiration in terms of colors. So you can really um, find what you're vibing with, select that color. You know, for example, I could just copy this. I'm copying that color. And then over here, I'm going to change it. Go over here, change the color. And here we go. That has changed the banner as well, all right? 
So again, I'm going to share this resource with you. So don't worry um, if you can't follow along right now. Now, but once we have the banner, you want to enter the rest of the information, right? So for example, description, I'm just going to say the same thing for now. Uh, I help coaches and course haters attract inbound leads on LinkedIn. But obviously you actually have quite a few characters here, so you can, you can make it much longer, right? So I'm going to click save over here, which is brilliant. So I could just quit this, right? Um, I don't want to share my affinity post yet, so I'm saying no thanks. But you can literally see what is left here at the top. So we have location. So you can again select the country uh, for, you know, for your office. Or um, I think you can say, here we go. My organization does not have uh, a street address. So if you don't want to share that. Um, but I think you still have to enter the city. So London. Um, and yeah, you could call that HQ if you would like to. All right. And then you click save. Oh, country would be UK. Click save. Amazing. So we have London here. Now, obviously you can go through these as well and see what's missing. So we have the general page info. Um, then the button, um, see we enter the website and the button that's going to be over here, one is follow and one is visit website, right? So if you wanted to change this button to be something else, you can, it could be sign up, register, learn more, contact us. I'm going to just uh, leave it as visit website. Then you have the overview, which again is the description and all the things we've entered here, your phone number, if you wish to enter it and when the company was founded, and you can add your specialities. So let's click over here. Um, and I start typing them. So let's say marketing, um, social media, etc. Okay. So we have added those. I'm going to click save again. Um, then location, we already added hashtags. If you, um, basically what you're talking about. So I could say LinkedIn, LinkedIn tips is what I'm talking about. Okay. So I click save, um, feature groups. Um, if there's anything you want to feature here, and then you can actually manage languages and translate your company page into different languages if that's, um, relevant for you. All right. But I think we're good here. So I'm going to exit this now. Um, again, it's encouraging me to share my first post. I'm not doing that just yet I'm saying no, thanks. Um, so obviously LinkedIn is basically trying to walk you through the whole uh, process as well. Um, and then it looks like the only things we are left to do when it's custom button, which is, um, already this one. So I don't want to change it. So I'm happy with this one, but like just as an, as an example, I could change it to register, um, and save that. And then the custom button is going to change on the page. Um, and again, no thanks to that. Um, and then the next step is to create your first post. But the most important thing for you to know is that you can click over here, view as member to actually know how your company page is appearing to other LinkedIn members. So this is basically what they're seeing, right? So in the about section, yours is going to be much longer. Um, that was actually home section. So this is the about section. Um, then the posts, once you start creating content on LinkedIn, this is where your posts live. Um, any jobs you're going to be promoting along the lines and people that are part of this company. And right now we don't have, uh, anyone, right? Uh, and basically this is how, again, other LinkedIn members are going to see your company page. And then you can click here, uh, view as admin to return to your actual page. Right. And again, as you start creating content, you're going to see analytics here. Um, there's obviously content suggestions that LinkedIn is populating for you, etc. Um, going back to home, I think we are looking okay, right here. And then yes, the next step would be to start creating content on your company page. But as you might already know, I always suggest that you actually grow your personal brand first, meaning that you grow your personal profile first. Uh, I'm going to link to that video above this, just so you start focusing on actually content creation for yourself and growing your following before you focus on the company page and you're going to understand why. All right. So this is how we set up the company page. Um, and I'm going to hop back onto the main video now. There you have it. That is how you create a LinkedIn company page. Now, if you'd like to know how to grow your business on LinkedIn and how to actually attract clients, be sure you grab my quick start guide to LinkedIn below this video. I would really appreciate if you could give this video a like and subscribe to my channel as it really helps me grow on YouTube. You might also want to check out this video next on how to get more followers on LinkedIn. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you in the next episode.